So this is a, a chart that will have all the same information on it that the unit circle does, but maybe it'll be easier for you to read, okay? Because this is the information you need. Um, when you're talking about angle measurements in degrees, right, I've listed what are the important angles to know. 30 and 60, 45, 90, and then those same intervals all the way around in the, in the uh, second quadrant here, in the third quadrant, and then again in the fourth quadrant. Okay. What do we know? We know that in radians, zero degrees is zero radians. Okay. You probably want to be filling this out as we go. Okay. 360, what's 360? Anybody know? It's actually 2 pi. Right? 360 is going all the way around the circle once. If you do it in degrees, it's 360 degrees. If you're looking at the distance around the unit circle, that's 2 pi. Halfway is 180 degrees. So that's 2 pi over 2, halfway, which is just pi. 90 degrees is halfway to 180 degrees, so that's pi over 2. And halfway to 90 degrees is 45 degrees, so that's pi over 4. Every 45 degrees is 1 fourth of pi. So you've got 1 fourth, pi over 2 is 2 fourths. If we add 45 to this again, we get 135. So now that's 3 fourths pi, right? If we add a quarter to that again, we get to 180 degrees. If we keep going, 180 plus 45 is 225. That's going to be 5 pi over 4. Add 45 to that again, it's 270. That's 6 pi over 4, and you can reduce that to 3 pi over 2, which is 1 and a half pi. So that makes sense. You're going from 0, 90 degrees is pi over 2, 180 is pi, 270 is 3 pi over 2, and 360 is 4 pi over 2, or, or 2 pi. And in between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, we have 315, which is 7 pi over 4. Now, using the, using the same kind of reasoning, okay, if, if 0 to 180 degrees is 1 pi. 60 is a third of that. You get 60, then 120, and then 180. Those are equal distances. Every 60 degrees is 1 third of pi. So this is going to be pi over 3. This will be 2 pi over 3. And 180 will be 3 pi over 3, but we've already got it written down as pi. All right. Um, then if we keep going, 180 plus 60 degrees, that's 240. So that's going to be 4 pi over 3. Another 60 degrees is 300. That's going to be 5 pi over 3. And another 60 degrees after that is 360. That's 6 pi over 3, or 2 pi. So this is something you can reason out if you needed to fill this chart out on your own. Okay. Half of 60 degrees is 30 degrees. So we can actually catch the places in between. Half of pi over 3 is pi over 6. Okay. So this is going to be pi over 6. This is 2 pi over 6. Another 30 degrees on top of this is 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2. Hmm? Okay, another 30 degrees is 4 pi over 6, that's 2 pi over 3. Another 40 degrees is going to be 5 pi over 6, and that's what goes here, 5 pi over 6. 30 more degrees gets you to 6 pi over 6. 30 more degrees after that. 7 pi over 6. 
30 more degrees after that is 8 pi over 6, which reduces to 4 pi over 3. 30 more degrees after that gets you to 9 pi over 6, which is 3 pi over 2. 30 more degrees after that, 270 to 300, gets you to 10 pi over 6. 30 more degrees after that gets you to 11 pi over 6. And 10, 30 more degrees after that gets you to 12 pi over 6, and that's 2 pi. So if you look at this, the way this works out, you have all these different radian values. And of course, the reason that we've picked these particular special angles is that these are the angles that special right triangles come from. So now let's just do this before we even bother with the trigonometry. Let's go in the other direction. And let's just look at backwards here. Negative angles. Right? If we were measuring it in degrees, in negative degrees, remember, if we're starting with 0 and we go this direction, it's positive. If we go this direction, it's negative. So in order to fill this in, all we really have to do is invert this list and go the other direction. 330 degrees, right? where is that? That's way over here, right? right here. And that's the same as negative 30 degrees. Okay, so let's fill that in. This one's negative 30. 330 degrees is negative 30 degrees. And then continuing by looking over here and seeing, okay, what's next? Uh, 30, 45, 60, 90. We can just go backwards over here, 30, 45, 60, 90. And of course, stopping for a minute to make sure we haven't lost our way here, negative 90 and 270, yeah, they are the same thing. Negative 90 goes this way, all right? And 270 degrees goes this way, and they wind up in the same place. So let's just keep filling it in. What's after that? 120, 135, 150, 180. All right, this is negative 120, negative 135, negative 150, and negative 180. And again, whether you're doing 180 degrees or negative 180 degrees, doesn't matter. Turns out it's the same thing. 180 degrees is this way, negative 180 degrees is this way, you wind up in the same place. So let's just keep finishing up the chart here. 210, 225, 240. And negative 270 is the same as positive 90. Just one more time, let's just take a look at that. Negative 270 takes you all the way around to here. And positive 90 takes you to here. Continuing to fill it in till we get to the end. Here we've got negative 300, negative 315, and negative 330. What I'd like you to do is take a moment now, and in this column where it says negative angle measures in radians, right? again, let's leave these blank for now, right? the top one and the bottom one. But let's go through and have you do this. If, if 30 degrees is pi over 6, then negative 30 degrees is negative pi over 6. At 0 degrees, what are the x and y coordinates on the unit circle? Right, it's 1 comma 0. And again, if it helps you to take out your unit circle, then go ahead and do it. Or you can do it this way. If this is 30 degrees right here, right, and this is 1, then the side opposite 30 degrees has to be 1 half of that, and the, the third side has to be square root of 3 times that. Thank you. So the coordinates here, Square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 over 2. 
Here, 45 degrees, well, if you have a 45 degree angle, the right triangle that com comes from that is an isosceles right triangle, and both of these sides are going to be square root of 2 over 2. So those are your coordinates. Here at 60 degrees, you've got the 30, 60, 90 tri triangle again, but turned in the other direction. Right? 60 degrees here, right? 30 degrees is over here, but still the radius is 1, so this side becomes 1 half. This side becomes square root of 3 over 2, and that makes the coordinates of the point 1 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. When you get to 90 degrees, you're pointing straight up. You're going zero spaces left or right. You're going one space up. And now you really don't have to think this through all the way anymore because this is where you hit the symmetry of a circle. Well, as we go up this way, right, we have gone from 1, 0 to 0, 1, and as we continue back around this direction, over here, this is going to be negative 1, 0, and each one of these points is going to have the same y coordinate as the point alongside it, and the opposite of the x coordinate. So, what does that mean? It means we can just actually go straight down here and say, this next one is going to be negative 1 over 2, square root of 3 over 2. And then negative square root of 2 over 2, positive square root of 2 over 2. And then negative square root of 3 over 2. And positive 1 half. And then, of course, we've already said 180 degrees is negative 1, comma, 0. Now, if you look again, there's also some symmetry going this way. And the symmetry is that you're going to have the same values as here, only both x and y are going to be negative here. And around here, the same thing's going to happen, only y will be negative and x will be positive. But all of the intervals are the same. So you should get the same absolute value numbers. So coming back over to this, what does that mean? It means from here to here, from here to here, the third quadrant, both x and y are negative. So we just are going through this back up this way. If this one is negative square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half, then this one down here will be negative square root of 3 over 2 because the distance this way is the same, and negative 1 half. So you're moving back up this way, just changing the sign. until you get to 270 degrees. When you get to 270 degrees, now both of these are going to be negative, but it doesn't really matter much, does it? So this one was negative, 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 and here both of these are going to be negative. So this is going to be 0, comma, negative 1. Okay. And again, if you keep going backwards, straight up this way, all of the x-coordinates are going to be the same this time, because now we're in this quadrant here. The x-coordinates are going to be the same, but the y-coordinates are going to be opposite. Okay. So, following it up here, let's just put in some numbers. What have we got? We're going from here. This is going to be positive 1 half comma negative square root of 3 over 2 and so on, and so on, and so on.
until we finally get to 1 comma 0. So now, going back here, we know that the sine is the sine of theta is equal to the y coordinate divided by the radius. Okay. And the, the cosine is equal to the x coordinate divided by the radius. And since we're dealing with a unit circle, the radius is 1. So all we need to do is to copy these coordinates down, the x coordinate in this column and the y coordinate in this one. And we just go straight down the chart here and put them over here. This would be square root of 3 over 2, and this would be 1 over 2. This is what it winds up looking like. This is the filled out chart. 